Um, as you can see, the geese are kind of fading away. Um, I'm gonna hit one with a rock. All right. Not the ducks are over there. See if he's fishing a little piece of tree. So I'm gonna try to get him. Try to get him over here. And it's our two. These ducks are putting up one hell of a fight. They're after one piece of bread. The end. We'll get there first. We're gonna get there first. We're gonna get there first. That's oh, a tri war. Oh! Oh! Okay. Another secret, guys. Something National Geographic won't tell you. Ducks love cranberry bagels. Just like goose, though. What? Okay. Uh, can't really see him. There's a guy chasing. Hey, get out of the way, doofus. Okay, you can't really see him. Anyway. Alright. Uh oh, families, families apart. Families apart. Is he trying to catch a duckling? Yeah. He laughs like the cowardly lion. Okay. All right, here it is. Go get it, duck. Go get it. Okay, so this is how you lure them in. You keep throwing it, throwing it, kind of like you're leaving a trail of breadcrumbs. Problem is, the fattest one always gets it. Look at them. And if I throw it out further, then they're going away from us. Another failed attempt. We are learning. This is a learning process, regardless of whether or not we catch a duck. Oh my god, what is... Clearly someone just told a funny ass joke. Cause this duck won't shut the hell up. Alright. So it seems like geese are more human friendly around this time of the year. I don't think geese are stupid. There he goes. All right, here we go. Throw to the ducks beyond. And the duck is not interested. He just gives me the cold shoulder. Like I'm not even. Like I'm not even here. Like I don't even exist. This fish is. Ladies and gentlemen, after several failed attempts of trying to catch a duck, we have caught Three. some fish. We're having supper tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you can see them or not. They kind of blend down with the water a little bit. But let me explain the genius, okay? The fish totally stole my bait. <laughs> okay, anyway. Ah! I hooked, I hooked another stick. Is this ironic or maybe it isn't? I don't know. Anyway, the genius of the bag was that this man right here, Mr. Tyler Nasbitt, he hooked a bag right. to the pole. And as I wish this would get off. And as the bagel was on this other end, I dragged the fish over gradually into the bag. And as the fish went for the bagel, Tyler Nasbitt lifted it up. And that's how we caught three of the most gorgeous fish in this pond. So kids, take note. You gonna say something else? Nope. Okay. Just take notes. And we have three fish in this bag right here. Going and the bag up. I'm thinking maybe we should try to switch it with the hobos. What do you think? I'm thinking he'd be the luckiest hobo in the world. I know. I'm not like I'm not trying to trick him. I'm just trying to say, if he put this on his back and he had fish swimming around. Did you get a picture of the fish? Check him. Oh, we'll get a s a p. No, a c a p. Close to possible. There the fish are. They kind of look dead. They're not. Don't worry about it. They're in water. Dead around. Oh. There they are. Fishy, yeah. fishy, fishy. Yeah. Catch of the day, catch of the year. You know what? I don't. Captain Ahab got nothing on these Moby Dicks. Hubba, hubba. Yeah, boy. Right, and so, that's uh, how we do it. I find myself in a state 
of ambivalence. Do I try to catch that guy? The biggest hunk on the planet? Or... You go for five little guys. Take go for five little guys.